Okay, today I decided to change this uh, my kitchen faucet. Okay, and uh, I also um, ripped out this um, the underneath the sink um, the uh, particle board because it was wet. It was, water was leaking. It was wet and. Uh, so I decided to take it out and uh, let it vent for uh, maybe a couple days before I uh, uh, put a new board in underneath here. But in the meantime, um, I decided to change this faucet here, okay? And uh, to change this to a, a, a different one. And um, we just got this one from Home Depot. So. Um, this is all the stuff that we're going to be putting in and uh, once we finish I will um, make another video or something like that but uh, in the meantime let me take everything else apart um, I think underneath all you need is uh, one of these wrench and uh, maybe a flathead or maybe not but that's what I'll be using okay so today I decide to uh, change this faucet in my kitchen right here so um, uh, I like something uh, a little bit uh, taller and uh, more flexible okay so this one you can you can pull it out and everything but I like the handles to be in different position because it's a little bit too close to the to here okay so um, we'll see what we can do okay um, just bought this set from Home Depot, okay. Um, this is what it looks like, okay. Much bigger and uh, uh, hopefully it will make my kitchen look better. Salo. Okay, so you can see all these uh, supply line here, you know, different, you got metal and connections up here that I'm probably gonna have to take off so it's gonna be a lot of work and everything's like rusted so like look like a 20 year old you know water supply line and and uh, faucet so uh, it's gonna be some hard work and uh, I will take you guys through the process okay so after uh, I turn off the main uh, water uh, valve to all the house um, letting all the water out from uh, the lowest point in the house and um, from the other bathroom has stopped but here once I connected this water supply is still uh, dripping water okay so I use that to catch the water and uh, once um, all the water drains out I'm gonna cut the water supply line uh, and replace it So the main water supply line to the house has been uh, turned off. So uh, I'm just waiting for all this to drip out. Take, it's gonna take a while. Okay, guys, this is like modified. So um, this water, this water line here is connected. Okay, like that. It's a metal one, so it's connected. So I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, take this this whole thing out, okay? This valve right here out, and um, let's see, it's too close. Okay, I'm gonna have to take this valve right here out, but before doing that, I have to disconnect this up here, okay? So. The one that is connected to the faucet is metal, is a metal um, uh, supply line. So what you need to do is you gotta take this pin out and then turn this, okay? Okay, now that is uh, from, uh, disconnected from there. Um, 
what you're gonna have to do is uh, use two wrench, okay? One, one for for the back here, and then one here, okay? And they turn the opposite. This one will turn. Um, counterclockwise while you hold this one in the back okay so I can't uh, uh, film this and do this at the same time so I'm gonna uh, stop here and then uh, get this off okay see that this is the old one okay it comes in one piece like that so you can't really um, uh, unscrew the water supply line okay so you have to take the whole thing off okay all right okay so I got this from uh, Home Depot okay so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna use the uh, the old one I'm gonna use this old one okay that is still connected to there see that it's still connected to there so I'm gonna use that and then um, I'm just gonna replace it with this so I'm just gonna screw this one in okay to save the uh, the work yeah it's gonna be hard to uh, pull that thing out there so um yep just using this part with the old part over there so I'm gonna screw that one in okay screw it in right there like that okay so here's the here's the new part and that's the old part right here okay so I'm just gonna put that in Okay, I'm gonna screw that in and then uh, that's what you just need to do. Now to take that off right there. See how that rusty that is? Gonna be so hard to, to get that out right there and pull it up through, uh, on top. Cause that bolt is so rusty I, and the space is so um, crammed in here that there's no way I can fit a, a plumber's wrench on there. If I could fit on a plumber's wrench on there, it would be easy, but look how tight that is. That, that, um, look at that. How am I gonna fit that in there? So, I'm gonna figure out a way to do that and then I'll come back and let you guys know. Okay, so I'm gonna drill that nut right there, okay? I'm gonna try to um, drill that so it will split, okay? So, um, so hard to, uh, to, um, record and do this at the same time but uh, it's gonna be I'm gonna it's, I can't drill from the side so I'm gonna drill like from underneath and cut the bolt and cut this nut right there in half okay so it's gonna be like this it's gonna go from bottom to top okay like that it's split in half. Okay. Okay, so what I did was I drilled straight up and split this uh, nut right here, okay? So now I'm going to try to get that off. There you go. All done. So now I can take my faucet out. Thank you. And uh, once I get all these through the line the water supplies here I will show you guys up uh, what's up next okay 
So once you split that that nut right there, it's easy. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna um, make sure all everything uh, fit down here, and then uh, the uh, box is gonna be pulled out. Okay, that's the old one, okay? So uh, we're gonna take that one out and we're gonna put the new one in. Okay, so this is what I did. I, I, I drilled it up word, okay? It was like that and um, I drilled it and cut this in half. So it would come off of here, okay? Cause it's so rusted, it wasn't, you know, turning or anything like that. So um, once you get this, uh, Thing out then uh, you can just pull it out like I just did um, um, earlier okay so we're gonna throw this away and uh, put in a new one and the new one should be uh, very simple when you drill this I forgot to mention you know safety is always uh, first when you drill this make sure you wear a mask and um, wear um, eyewear okay something to protect your eye because one um, you're gonna be laying, um, you know, down, looking upward, and you get, when you drill, all these metal shavings gonna be falling down. Okay, so um, yeah, protect your eyes, and then uh, wear a mask to uh, protect your other parts of the body. Okay. Okay, so this is the one that we got from Home Depot, Glacier Bay, Kagan. This is the pulled down kitchen faucet. Looks something like that. Um, model number is here. Okay, stainless steel. Um, and then um, got the manual. Uh, we won't be needing this piece because uh, mine is pretty much a single. Okay, so we don't need this part. And then uh, you got got your faucet right here. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're uh, input, uh, installing the new one. So you're gonna put all the water supplies lines down the uh, hole right here. Okay. Make sure it fits. Okay. There you go. All right. So before that, I'm uh, I'm gonna have to put some um silicone on here okay so make sure your faucet is aligned to your likings okay before you tighten the um, knob on the bottom to make the faucet tight okay okay so I'm gonna silicone this it already has a, a plastic washer on here but just in case I'm gonna um, silicone this whole thing right here. Okay, so I'm gonna put silicone all the way around here. Okay, the base of the faucet. Okay, so make sure you got good silicones around the base. Okay, of the faucet before you install or before you put it down, okay? Okay. Okay, so you put it down. Okay. Make sure you adjust it to your liking so that um this is a little bit close for us, so we're gonna have to turn it this way a little bit so that when we open it and go to to uh hot water it won't hit the the back okay so cold hot all the way out close okay so this is our position here okay there you go let me see Okay, this is it, right here. 
and make sure the silicone sticks and then you can wipe the excess off after you install okay okay so I'm gonna uh, connect the uh, shower head uh, quick connector okay so the shower head line is gonna go here and it's gonna come out of here okay and this is uh, these two lines here one has the orange tip and one has the blue tip and it's gonna be connected like this okay it's gonna be connected like that right here like this okay so I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna connect this first so you have to take these uh, thing right here off okay before you connect them just snap on okay so connect this clip here to that and then you just push it in like that and it snaps on okay and both of them are 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 good okay and then you got your weight right here to pull the the uh the shaw head so the weight here will pull the shower head back okay like that okay so now all you need to do is connect all your water supply line okay make sure hot goes to hot and cold goes to cold okay so the water supply line as you can see it's been it's marked okay blue is cold and red here means it's hot okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna connect the the um the cold one first Okay, once you uh, put all the sealing on your threads and uh, you uh, put everything together and nothing is leaking, then you're all good. Okay, so here's the new faucet, okay? And uh, boom, like that, and you got the different modes here, you know, shower to uh, that, okay, and you can pull as long as you want, okay, and there you go, uh, mission complete for today, and uh, if you like what you see, please like and follow and subscribe, thank you very much.